Let's bring in Jimmy Fallon, the host of Fox Across America on Fox News Radio, Fox Nation. He never needs a cheat sheet, but apparently, Jimmy, the president Stop does. It. Wow. I mean, first of all, where was this cheat sheet when he was riding his bike last weekend? <laughs> it would have came in here. <laughs> yeah. he, he clearly missed the note that said, put your feet on the ground where you stop pedaling. <laughs> you, you, know, you know what the most disconcerting aspect of this is? It's not even that he had the notes. It's that he showed them to yeah. reporters like he didn't know better than to keep them facing him. Do you know when you're in a room with somebody? And you're talking about them to another person. You're like, hey, don't look at that guy over there. Don't look, don't look. However, and they look right at the guy yes. and now give away the fact that you had this little secret. That's Biden, man. And we have every cause to be concerned. But I got to be honest with you. I'm not as concerned as, say, Canada should be. Because he's going to wind up nuking them by accident if we go to war with Russia and he forgets <laughs> to look at his notes. You know, Jimmy, I think this is, would this even be a story if there weren't all the other questions, like where he doesn't finish the sentence or he uh, he says, I have one yes. word to describe this country and then just a noise comes out. I mean, it's kind of <laughs> like all these things piled on each other, right? Oh, it's so true. Joe Biden is the only human being who quits talking in the middle of a sentence because he's done. You know what I mean? Dude, Johnny, the guy is sending in the punt team on second down. It's not supposed to work that way. So, yes, I am concerned that I want another note written in pen at the bottom that says vacate the position. That would make me happy. <laughs> yeah, a White House official told Fox News that this is a very standard format used by politicians and government officials at public events. Mm. Um, it, it, I just mm. can't imagine Trump or Obama. Uh, no way. Or any other president yeah, I, so using you gonna this tell kind me, of cheat sheet. Go ahead. Car yeah. Car Carly, are you going to tell me any other president without that cheat sheet would have stood the whole meeting? They wouldn't have known to sit down when the rest of the room sit. You know, we've seen all those historical photos of, of presidents just standing the whole time, like they were giving a PowerPoint. Yeah. Come on. Well, the president did shake hands with air once, so maybe he needs it. All right. Everything's fine. Everything's going to be fine. We also want to get to this uh, footage of the vice president. It really shows six times a charm for her following Kamala Harris's office posting video of her sinking a bat basketball shot during the 50th anniversary of Title IX, uh, but new video shows that they lift out, left out the five times where she missed a shot. I have nothing to say about this one because I, would be, I wouldn't be able to sink those shots either. How do you feel about it? I mean, Kamala's got to be careful, because if she misses one more shot, they'll put her on the New York Knicks. You know, that's, that's, the, kind of, that's the kind of shooting we're used to here in New York. But yeah, she drives the lane about as well as she drives to the border, meaning she doesn't do it. She was terrible. Uh, but that's this whole administration in a nutshell. It's an Instagram presidency, where it's constantly being put through filters to look palatable to the American people. But if you take a step back, you're like, oh, wow, none of this is real. Apparently, even the layups aren't real. Come on, man, as, as someone might say. This is ridiculous, and that's not hyperbole. I'm being sincere here. They're both useless. Yeah. No, I think you're right. It's not that she missed at all. I'm not going to make fun of her for that. Just maybe the awkwardness of the entire scene. Well, uh, Doug Emhoff, her husband, yeah. shouted, bend your knees, and then <laughs> she made the shot. So good advice from him. Jimmy, thank you, for, thank you for joining us. You guys, the best. See you soon. All right, see ya. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.